readings from planet Rocky. The last time I was here was over 20 years ago. Rocky is the smallest planet with an atmosphere that I've seen. It was probably hit by space waste. I've seen a lot of desolate planets from the safety of my machine. Don't get me wrong, Earth is a beautiful place with countless amazing landscapes. But it's nice to get out sometimes and visit other worlds. But not all planets are deserted. For example, who put that thing there? I prefer to stay away from inhabited planets. You never know if they're hostile, after all. And I don't think I can breathe whatever they're breathing anyway. The extensive efforts to survive that I've seen are remarkable. like more welcome here. <laughs> I think it's a trap. These scenes are rendered with old software first released in 1997 by Matt Fairclough. Terra Gen version 0. Its heydays were around 2002, when TV still looked like this. And internet video was mostly limited to a few tiny clips hosted on your own website. Terra Gen is completely generative. The surface, water, atmosphere and light follow the laws of nature. The terrain is one single height map, which can also be imported. So you can convert any image to a terrain. Oh, um, this building, for example, is part of the height map, and the height map was based on a photo of marble. Hmm. Doesn't look like we're welcome here. By using current software like Gaia, I cheated quite a lot in some of these renders, but Terrigen Zero makes the landscape come to life in its own unique, dramatic way when you carefully orchestrate the fairly limited amount of parameters. The laws of nature in Terrigen Zero can be bent and even broken. You can defy nature using the laws of nature. In renders like these, I pushed Terrigen beyond its intended purpose. These surface-touching auroras are really sun rays. And these spaceship exhausts are also really sun rays. This rare phenomenon I've named bliss, and it happens when the clouds are so low that you can touch them. Bending Terrigen Zero beyond its intended purpose became a separate form of art that only other Terrigen creators could understand. Black light exists, apparently. <laughs> Whatever this is, it reaches into space. This is the zenith pearl on planet... Oh, and this is Mars, I guess. A shout out to San O'Malley. No, not him. 
who created important plugins like 32-bit HDR output and the CalmPath animation software that I used. Terrigen 0.9 was last updated in 2005 while work was already on the way for a completely rewritten version 2. The new Terrigen has since been used in many film and video productions. But Terrigen Classic, as it's now called, had the ability to realize an idea relatively fast and easy. And its limits were also a feat of inspiration. I think I missed that simplicity in the newer versions. I guess what I'm doing here is not retro gaming, but rather retro creating. Crazy enough to have kept it and use it again today to show you this final appreciation of now ancient software Terrigen Classic. If you're curious about how this was made, there should be a link to a video on my new channel, Lazy Posey. I hate artificial intelligence. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you. Um, there's life here.